Hello, this is a quick video about how to run third-party unidentified apps without disabling macOS Sierra's gatekeeper feature. Since the launch of macOS Sierra, a lot of people have noticed that Apple has removed Allow From Anywhere out of the security and privacy settings. This isn't because Apple doesn't want you to run apps they haven't approved. It's just to protect less tech-savvy people from possibly running a malicious app that they downloaded without really knowing about it. Most people jump to the conclusion that the best option is just to disable it entirely using Terminal, but this option is less secure and completely not necessary. The real reason Apple removed that option from the security settings is because they've designed Gatekeeper so that you no longer need it. For this video, I'm going to be installing a popular unverified app called Handbrake that is used for converting video files. It's an app that I've been using for many years and I know that it is obviously safe. When I click to open the app I just downloaded, I am prompted with a message that says Handbrake can't be opened because it is from an unidentified developer, and the only option I have is to click OK. Apple has set up Gatekeeper to allow exceptions to any app that the user wants. Once you make an exception for an app, it will no longer bother you when opening it again. To make an exception for an app, right click the app and click Open. This time when it opens, it is going to tell you that the app is from an unidentified developer. But this time it is going to ask you if you are sure you want to open it. When we click open, it opens the app no problem. Once you open the app this way, it automatically makes a gatekeeper exception for this app. Now every time you go to open that app, it will open with no problem. So by leaving Gatekeeper enabled, when you download a new third-party app that you are not familiar with for the first time, it's just there to get you to double check that you really are sure you want to open it. It may even be a good idea to do some research on the app before you open it to make sure that it is safe. By completely disabling it, you might download a sketchy program and not even think twice about opening it, which is why it is a bad idea to disable Gatekeeper completely. I hope you found this video helpful, if you did please comment and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.